This is Brock Beard coming at you from Sanford, North Carolina. This is 923 Willett Road, the former home of McDuffie Racing, right where I was standing in 1991 was when J.D. McDuffie left the shop for the final time. The door on the right there is the entrance to his office. The space in the middle is the one front access to the garage. We're going to go ahead and take a walk through here and see what we find inside. Inside the shop, cars up on the wall here, die casts, right out of the early 1990s. Kyle Petty, Dale Jarrett, Rapodine. Others on the inside. There's a door leading into the main garage. Since still in use as a waiting room since then. Well, there's a lot of equipment left on the table here. We have a calendar from just last year. Here's the restroom in the back. Shower in the back room here. Checkered flag floor pattern here. It's like linoleum flooring. There's a break room here behind this. We take a look inside. Refrigerator. Fused pox back here. Some paneling inside. Drinking fountain over here. Go back a little further. Key hooks, start board. A lot of this being used as storage space now. Computers. Some toolboxes here in the back. It's like actually a dresser drawer there. Go into this back room. It's like a pressure pressurized cylinder back here. Other materials stored in the back. Calendar from last year again. So still being used. And now we're going to head right back out. And look in the main garage. Again, this building was constructed after Bailey excavating, signed with McDuffie Racing. Back in the 1970s, it was a shop that he used through his passing in 1991. In 1995, uh, Iron Horse Auctions went through here and sold all the fixtures inside, but there are still several signs of what it once was. First off the bat, on the wall of this facility, you see a Pontiac Motorsports logo, half of it. The original white paneling is the same as it was back in 1991. Racks for tools and equipment here in the meantime. And then we got ladder to access its top level from stored we used to have cardboard boxes up there various parts this is the entrance back into the office and then and we're going to move back around this side there are various cars in here. Again, this shop is now owned by Sanford Transmissions, which is located downtown. But the same structure is still here. There's some light coming through from some lighter parts of the siding on the roof. 
on the camera here, they look almost like electric lights. Power doesn't seem to be on for it here, actually. We've tried flipping some switches, and it's not kicking on. But we're going to continue to look through here. Transmission parts on the rack over here. Up on these racks, on one of these walls, is where JD kept his fuel canisters. He had two large fuel canisters he'd load on the top of Old Blue. And some in the background of a picture taken back in the 80s was used in a uh, trading card made by Racing Champions after his passing. You get a die cast of the classic trophies car, the old Burgundy car. You'll see some fuel tanks behind his head. And that's where those were. It's moving along the far left side of the building. We have some old counters over here. I need to look at my old pictures and see if these are still the same counters from before. It's a little tight through here. We're going to move through here. This door here is locked. But it goes back to the outside. There's a grounds around the property here. We'll take a look at that as well. Here's the fire extinguisher is here now. We have what looks to be a very old sign here for fire extinguisher. It's originally up a bit higher, I believe. Again, looking to see if there are any pictures from that before. Now this, there's another room back in this corner here. This is either the dino room or the paint room. It looks like it's it's fairly small, so it might be the dino room. I do see looks like welding equipment on the inside here. This door is locked, unfortunately, but you can see inside there. Actually, it looks very small in there. There we go. Some equipment in there. <laughs> Another sign from before the old AC spark plugs, decals, or signs. There's two of them on this wall, at the far back wall. Again, more space that was used above that you can see still some vertical space used here as well and then we got the equipment here get a review of the AC spark plug logo AC stayed with him he joined with during the time when Tom Winkle bought assets of the team back in the late 80s. He ran the Winkle Pontiac sponsorship on the car. Winkle left the team later on, but AC stayed with him through the last couple of years of his career. The very nose of his car actually had the AC logo there. There's a smaller one over in this corner here, near this other box. Looks like you have a, uh, have a box through there. That's the other logo. And then we go forward here. The shop is several times larger than the one photographed and posted on Twitter the other day. The one that says the, uh, the tune-up shop on the out front. That one was used until the late 70s. Uh, or the mid 70s, I believe, actually, when the Baileys came on board. Got some old equipment out back. There's an extension back here. There's various cars parked around the property. Very quiet out here. It's, this is several miles off the main drag in Sanford. And out this direction, actually, not too far away, is where 
JD's home was originally with his wife off Baker Street. They've, uh, his wife Imogene has since moved to a different part of town. Here's the space here is actually just open air. It's not as it doesn't actually go back into the building. But you can see the racks and everything set up in the back. Looks like the property continues downhill past here. Other cars on the property. It extends much further back. There's a drop off of this concrete ledge. You can see back out there. So it's actually a fairly large piece of property. You look at that old video from 1985. Uh, there's a couple of people have posted it. There's a um, tribute to JD done during the 1985 Daytona 500 when Bill Elliott was dominating it. And you can see footage of the shop on the inside. It'd be good, a good way to compare some of the shots you see here. Just always keep an eye out for some of the other equipment, various things around here. It's like an old seat maybe down there. Trees grown up a bit out around the property, but they've... The property still use the gentleman, uh, Roberto here. And big thanks to him for letting us come by here. And also to uh, Ray down at Sanford Transmissions for setting this up for us. Um, you know, they, they don't come down here too often, but uh, it's still something to see the facility still standing, still here. Just that many years later. This is the far wall of it. There's that door that we looked at earlier that just goes to the outside. It goes to this big clearing here. Again, several more cars parked out front. And there's the fence to the property access to that downhill portion there and you see very tall trees in the area very lush just tranquil over here I could see where he would be able to get a lot of work done on the race team all those years taking a look around the property It's clearing very large again the fences way down there in the distance similar shade of blue that the structure was when it was originally built back in the 1970s I don't know how often it was repainted originally but it's again still here still standing out here in uh, in Sanford Uh, every car that was worked on it could fit as you can see from how many cars are actually stacked up inside that garage you can imagine you can actually fit two or three cars in there sideways with enough clearing around it to actually get them worked on three cars is how many JD had in 1991 his final season um, two newer cars were wrecked earlier in the season he was using his oldest and Car, the Burgundy LC Whitford car in its final start. My pressure cylinder here in the back. And we're going to go back in through here. And then you, you see, man, the building's still here. This dark color here on the, uh, on the awnings, on the beams here. About the same as it was in these older shots. And just all the work that was uh, that was done right here in this building. You know, it was in that office there that the family would come by, especially uh, his daughter Linda. Loved coming down here to the shop. And uh, brings us right back to the entrance here. So again, thank you for watching. Big thanks again to Sanford Automotive, or Sanford Transmissions, excuse me. 
and to uh, Ray and Roberto working there. Thank you for giving us access here and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, book on J.D. McDuffie coming from Waldorf Publishing, July 15th, 2018. And stay tuned for more information. Thank you for watching.